Hello and welcome to the 2022 Transform Our World Youth Summit. I'm Maya and I'm here from Thoughtbox Education and today I will be hosting and guiding you through the session on I Am Powerful. You can interact with this session using the Slido function on your screen and a member of the Transform Our World team will be available on chat to answer any questions that you might have. I'm also going to be asking you to reflect on some questions and maybe share with the person next to you. But if you can, it would be great if you have a piece of paper in front of you. So, what does it mean to be powerful? Well, today and through this session, we're gonna explore how you can tap into that sense of feeling powerful, of really tapping into your power through connecting with the natural world, through connecting with other people in your community around you, and through connecting deeply with yourself. Because it's, as you will find out, through these three connections that you find and feel your true unique power. And throughout this week, you've heard a lot about what it means to be powerful. But let's be honest, you know, sometimes we really don't feel that powerful. When you hear about all of the damage and the destruction, all of the negative stories and all of the problems in the world, yeah, sometimes we really don't feel powerful. And especially for you guys as young children, as young people in this world. I want you to take a moment and feel that place that where you sometimes don't feel powerful and think about why. Why for you do you not really feel powerful? What might make you feel powerless when you think about transforming our world? If you want, you can share it with the person next to you and listen to theirs carefully. See if it's the same or something different. And then I would love for you also to share it in the Slido so that you can hear from other people all around the world. It's really easy sometimes to feel powerless in the face of all of these challenges. Sometimes we feel that no one listens to me. That's what someone shares. Or that there's just too many problems in the world. Where can you begin? How can, how can I, just me, make a difference in the world? Sometimes it might feel like you're the only one who cares. Yeah, thank you for sharing all of these. Oh, that you don't know what to do. All of these are normal feelings that we get. And all of these can make us feel on our little power monitor, if we had one, that measured how powerful we feel. When we think about it in this way, we can feel really powerless. But the important thing here is that is only how you feel. It's not actually how powerful you are because each of us, as we've been exploring, are powerful in our own ways. So how can we start moving that feeling from feeling powerless to feeling powerful? I wanna introduce you to Benji, who's a young person who shared his story. He's gonna share its story with us. And he might just have a few ideas. Hello, I'm Benjamin Fallow and I'm nine years old. The Transform Our World Youth Summit is really exciting. And they've asked children to talk about feeling powerful. Children don't, always feel powerful I don't always feel powerful and I feel a bit shy talking to you now people can do good things with power and people can do bad things with power too adults might not always listen to us but even though children might not always feel powerful we can make a difference when I've been through hard times I've watched nature really closely then I felt part of things part of nature 
I feel powerful when I'm right out in nature. I feel powerful when I know I'm a part of nature. When you really get with nature and look at it, you're part of it. When you're rushing through the world, you're on nature. But when you really see it and get right down into it, you're in nature. And you'll get amazed by everything you see. We have to let nature be wild and not harm it. The latest report from WWF states that the world's wildlife population plummeted by 70% in the last 50 years. We could be facing the largest loss of life since the dinosaurs and it's being driven by humans. It's hard to know what we can do to help the environment, but there are things we can do to help. I got involved with an amazing charity called Reserva, which is curating the world's first youth-funded rainforest reserve in Ecuador. I've been raising money by sending prints of my artwork and sponsored walks and climbs. And I've protected four acres of the Cloud Forest Reserve. I feel more powerful being connected to other young people who can help the planet and knowing I've made a difference. I love long walks and last year I walked over 200 kilometres and raised up to £2,000. This year I've been learning rock climbing and raised over a thousand pounds climbing Stanage Edge in the Peak District. I love drawing nature. When I draw animals and plants, it helps me to feel a part of nature. I started sharing my nature artwork online and I didn't know if anyone would be interested. But so many people got in touch and said it's made them think and made them want to get out into nature. I'm trying to use my artwork to encourage people to care for nature. When we love something and are interested about it, we care for it and protect it. The more people can experience nature for themselves, the more people want to protect it. I've made my garden into a garden for wildlife with a bug area, small meadow and a pond. We've had frogs, newts, Midges, mosquitoes, wasps, blackbirds, robins, sparrows, and they're all important to the ecosystem. We've had a hedgehog house, a little meadow, and lots of vegetables. I love gardening and getting muddy, and you learn so much when you're outside planting and propagating. We have to stop climate change, and biodiversity is just as important too. They're all connected. We're losing so many species all the time. And if all gardens were wildlife gardens, it would help the pollinators and insects to thrive. Sometimes it's hard to realise we have power as a lung person, but we do. Every child can make a real change for the good of our planet. So do just try to take the first step. If you have the chance, why not make a wildlife garden yourself? Litter picking, recycling and trying to avoid foods with palm oil and try to think about eating less meat. All these things help. Whenever you see nature in a park or even in the cracks in the pavement, try to learn from it and really get into it. Try to speak up for nature and the planet whenever you can. Oh, thank you so much, Benji. As you said, sometimes even if we don't feel powerful, we can still make a difference. And one of the biggest ways he suggested for us to feel a little bit more powerful is to connect with nature. When we connect with nature, it helps us to feel a part of for the bigger whole, it reminds us that we are part of nature. And that can make us feel a lot more powerful. I wonder, what are ways that you connect with nature? Take a moment and share it with the people next to you and then type them into Slido. It's always great to hear different ideas. And so 
some of the reason or ways that you can connect with nature include taking a walk in the park, simply going out and walking through nature, sitting under the trees. Maybe you can take care of a plant. I wonder how many of you have your own little plant or flower in a pot. You don't need to have a big garden like Benji. You can just have a little pot. Sometimes it's just as simple as opening the window and listening to the sounds. Can you hear the birds outside? Sometimes it might be a little bee as well. If you're lucky enough not to have the clouds over your head or too much light, can you lie down and look at the stars and remember what you're a part of? Or plant some vegetables in a window box. So watch, if you're early or late, watch the sunrise or the sunset each day. Or like Benji, as he said, just take those moments to stop and find all of the animals that you cross in a day, from the little insects to the dog next door. So if you're out in the country, like the cows and the sheep in the fields, just notice all of the nature that is a part of your life. I'd love to take you on a walk through the park right now, but seeing as we're here and on a screen, I do wanna just spend a little moment with nature. And as we watch this, I want you to think about how you want the world to look like. What is this better world that you want to be living in? I don't know about you, but just looking and remembering all of the creatures and the different environments that we live in and that exist on this earth, not only makes me feel a little bit more powerful, it also makes me feel that little bit more motivated to protect this beautiful earth that we are a part of. And so actually, now that we feel this motivation, I want you to sit and to think to describe what is this better world for you. If you could choose one part of the world to protect or to look after, 
or to make that little bit better, what would it be? What matters the most to you? Everyone around you might have a little different answer. And that is fine. We all need to care for different things. But I wonder for you, what matters the most to you? If you can write that down on the piece of paper and share it with the person next to you and also share it on Slido. Again, that way we can hear about all of the cares and the, the parts of the world that everyone wants to protect. And so as you look at all of these parts, I want us to think about each other because sometimes it is so easy to feel like we are all alone in wanting to make a difference. You might feel like you're the only one there who wants to save the planet. We often don't talk about it enough, but there are literally millions of people around the world all doing their little part to make a difference. There are people working on new technology to make energy that bit cleaner, or changing the way that we make and sell our clothes or how food is produced. There are thousands of people who are raising their voices in their own way to tell people that we need to start changing. Writing into governments, striking, making some noise about the issues. And there are millions of people who are changing the ways that they are living their lives so that it is better for the planet. And these people are all around you too. Just look at the other people in this room, as well as the tens of thousands of other young people who are joining us today on Transform Our World. While sometimes we can feel alone, it is important to remember that we're not, that we are literally always joined by people everywhere passionate about this. Here are just a few other young people like yourselves who you might have heard of. So Greta Thunberg from Sweden, she started on her own striking outside school, trying to raise awareness about the importance of climate change. And right now there are tens of thousands of children around the world who strike on Fridays and have made a difference and who now understand the issues that we're facing and have raised the attention of it to adults. Or Autumn Peltier, who comes from the Wikwemikong First Nation people in Ontario, in Canada. And she, at such a young age, actually became their chief water commissioner. She was so passionate and outraged at how their water was being polluted. that She got nominated to represent the 41st Nation people of Ontario in national and international gatherings, fighting for the right of her and her people's access to clean water. We have Fian Ferreira from Ireland, who has always been passionate about science. And by sitting and experimenting at home, he started to find ways to actually take these microplastics, little piece of plastics outside of, away from water, making it a cleaner place. These are just some of the young people, and we've already heard from Benji, who are all making a difference. And so I'd like you to welcome another one of our uh, young people who's shared his story with us today. From Mario. Let's have a listen. Hello everyone, my name is Mario Valentine. I'm 11 years old and reside in Durban, South Africa. I'm honoured to speak to you all today. I'm an eco warrior and the author of Protect Our Planet, Take Action with Rob Mario. It's a fun environmental guidebook to encourage kids to become Earth Guardians and highlight the UN Sustainable Development Goal, SDG4. The right for everyone to have access to quality education. It's a colourful and vibrant book that addresses climate change and environmental challenges. 
It has topics on ocean and bird conservation, plastic pollution, e-waste, along with fun, exciting activities, and much more. To me, power is using your gifts and talents in a positive way. I felt most powerful when I raised funds for 900 endangered bird species during the COVID lockdown. It was something I had never done before. My advice is set yourself small goals. Rather, turn up the sunshine because this is your power within. Be a visionary, confident, humble and resilient. I believe you are never too young to help nature or help improve the lives of others. We can all be a champion to somebody. If you can believe it, you can achieve it. Try your best to live more sustainably and find innovative ways to protect our environment. We are the change that we seek. When we take care of nature, we take care of ourselves. Thank you. What an inspirational young person. Thank you, Romario, for sharing your story, your energy and your passion and starting to make a difference in your own way. I want you now to think of people maybe that you know, maybe in the classroom with you now, in your community or your friends who've already started to do things and take action. And I wonder, as you think about them, and after hearing these stories of the young people, where's your energy monitor now? After connecting with nature and remembering that you're not alone. And that even as Romario said, we don't need big actions all the time. It can be these little steps that everyone's taking. I'm hoping by now you're feeling a little bit more in the media, maybe even getting to the high side of your power meter. And now, how do you connect more with yourself? Because we've connected with each other and we've connected with the natural world. But the importance of your power resides with you. Each of these young people made a difference and make a difference in slightly different ways. Benji tapped into his passion for drawing and for creativity and for going out into nature to make drawings and share them with the world to start raising awareness. He also loved learning new things and learned how to mountain climb and use rock climbing as a way of raising money. We've got Romario, whose passion for education and for educating others made him write a whole book of tips to teach other people, using his creativity as well. So what about you? What are you good at? And one way to think about it is actually, when do you feel powerful? When do you feel like you can make a difference or that you've made a difference? And this might be if you love playing sports. So we're gonna think about what are you good at? And we've already thought about what are the things that you care about? And by mixing those two together, that's where you stand, your unique power comes from. So take a moment and kind of draw two circles. And on the one on the left, I want you to write a couple of things that you care about in nature. What for you is the most important? And you can think back to those answers that you wrote when we were watching that video. So some of you might care about the pollution and that wants to start promoting recycling more. Others might be worried about the bees and the fact that they are dying out and they are such important creatures in our ecosystem. Others might be passionate about deforestation or about the plastic in the water that's killing our fish or how we treat animals. Take a moment and write down those things that you care about in our world. Don't worry, you don't need to put everything down right now. Just a few things. And then next, once you've got at least one, 
because all you need is one to start making a difference. I want you to think about the things that you are good at. So these might be things like drawing, if you're like Benji, or is it sport? Are you quite a sporty people? Do you play for a team? Do you enjoy making music, singing? Do you play an instrument that you love? For some of you, you're actually really good at learning new things. You throw yourself at it. You love discovering more things. Or you're great at coming up with ideas. Is storytelling your habit? Do you manage to get everyone in front of you listening to you as you tell a story? Or maybe even a joke? Are you good at making people laugh? What are the things that you are good at? And often when you do them, you know you're good at them because you feel quite strong, even if you're new at it. Again, some of you might be good and powerful when you're trying something new for the first time. Take a moment and write down some of these things because these are your tools that you can start to use to make a difference. I'm hoping you can have a few things there. And if you're not too sure, you know, sometimes it's good to ask other people. So turn to your neighbor and you can ask them, what do you think I'm good at? Sometimes we're too shy to realize the things that we are good at. And once you have these two lists, how can you put them together to start making a difference? And I'm gonna invite you after this session to start being creative at all of the different ways. And you'll discover there's actually quite a lot of things that you can be doing to start making a difference. Because the other thing that we've discussed in what Romario said, you know, break it down. The way that we make a difference isn't by taking these huge actions straight off the bat. It can sometimes be these little small steps that one by one together make a bigger difference in the world. So right up there at the end is the way that you want the world to be, the way that the world is going to transform because of your actions. And then right here today in this moment is where we're starting. I want you to think, knowing about the things that you love and knowing about the difference that you want to take. What is the first thing that you can start to do even today to start making a difference? So if you love learning new things and you care about the fact that we're cutting down loads of trees in the forest, how about today you commit to finding out a little bit more? Or if you're really good at telling stories or speaking to people and you care about the bees, how about you write a story telling them what is happening? And this can be a very factual, informational story, or it might be a creative story, whatever comes natural to you. Or if your passion is actually doing something or committing to something, maybe you want to stop using plastic and get all of your family to stop using plastic. So today, your first step is to tell them that we're no longer going to be using plastic bottles and get them to commit. What is gonna be your first step today that you can start to do to make a bigger difference? Because if you look around the room and each of you in this room start taking a small step, and then you think of all of the hundreds of thousands of people on this call and the people that they are with, to each taking a small step. Even by tomorrow, we're gonna to be in a slightly better place. So by now I'm hoping your power meter is pretty much full because you're powerful to make a little difference today. And so I want you to, on your little piece of paper, write down, today I'm going to use my power to, and then write what you're going to do today. Don't need to worry about tomorrow. You can do the same thing tomorrow and move this forwards. But today, what are you going to do? use your power to do to start transforming this world? And then I invite you to share them with each other. 
and then to add them again in this Slido. It'd be amazing to hear from everyone around the world what they're gonna do today, now that you are feeling powerful. Amazing, I'm so excited about these coming in. And as we close up for the session today, I'm going to remind you that your actions each make a difference. Each choice you make makes a difference. And that your power, whether you feel it or not in the moment, always exists inside of you. So on those days that you might not be feeling very powerful, take a moment connect with nature, maybe find a flower next to you or look outside at the trees or stare up at the sky. Remember those people who are already taking action and remember the people you sat with today and remember all of the things that you enjoy doing, all of the things that you can do already to make a difference. And in those moments where you start to feel powerless, Take one of those and make a little difference that day. Recycle that extra piece of paper. Tell someone a story about nature. And bit by bit, all of these small actions that you take with your power are going to remind you just how powerful you are. And as everyone taps into their power, we're going to start transforming our world to a better place. Thank you.